On July 5th, 2021, I flew from Charlotte, North Carolina to Fairbanks, Alaska. I was going to be spending the next 10 days in the land of the midnight sun, and I couldn't be more excited. It was just after midnight when my plane landed in Fairbanks, and as the saying goes, Alaska truly is the land of the midnight sun. After getting a great night's sleep at my Airbnb, I took an Uber to the Northern Alaska Tour Company at the Fairbanks Airport. That was the starting spot for my overnight tour of the famed Dalton Highway. We made a quick stop to get an up-close view of the Alaska Pipeline. I'm at the Yukon River Visitor Center. Just had some lunch here at the Yukon River and getting ready to walk down to the river and see the bridge. Here's the parking lot. Being in the van for a few hours after stopping at the Yukon River, we made another stop at the Finger Mountain Wayside. The scenery was beautiful, and everything there was so peaceful and serene.
One of the things that I really wanted to do on this trip to Alaska was to cross the Arctic Circle. When we reached the Arctic Circle, I got out and snapped a few photos. We switched vans and continued north towards Coldfoot. I'm at Coldfoot Camp in Coldfoot, Alaska. It's about 8 p.m. As you can see how bright it is. The mosquitoes are terrible. So, over there's the cafe. Here's the van I just came up on. And this is going into the hotel. I'm in room number three. Thank you. Yep, see you later. Here we are in the hotel. Cold foot camp. Have the little social room or whatever you call it. And then I'm right down the hall in room number three. Yeah, what it looks like. So, room number three. I already unlocked it. And there it is. Fancy, fancy, fancy cold foot camp. Here's my sink. Looks like I've got a closet right here. Yeah. Extra blanket, don't need it, it's kind of warm in here. It's about 75 degrees, believe it or not. I'm gonna close, oh, well, would you look at that? It started to rain. Can't tell in here, but it just started to rain. So, uh, yeah, here's the bathroom. Wow, isn't this nice? There's the toilet. flush it from whoever used it last. <laughs> and then I uh, guess we got a little shower. Yay. All right. My room at Coldfoot. That night I took a plane tour flying over Gates of the Arctic National Park. Gates of the Arctic National Park is the northernmost national park in the National Park Service system. It lies completely within the Arctic Circle. It's also the second largest national park in the United States, roughly the same size as the country of Belgium. We flew right over Anatuvik Pass and the beginning of the North Slope. The Brooks Mountain Range runs right through Gates of the Arctic National Park. The 
Brooks Range is not nearly as tall as the Alaska Range further to the south, but their snow-capped peaks were beautiful, and the entire range is very majestic. It was 10.30 p.m., and seeing the sun out this bright at this time of day was unreal. When the flight landed in Coldfoot, I went to the restaurant to eat dinner. I'd seen this place on TV quite a bit on the television show Ice Road Truckers. The food was surprisingly great, and the portions were huge. It is about 11.30 p.m. here in Coldfoot, Alaska. It's just now starting to rain, but it's still um, really daylight. Um, there, we can kind of take a look and see. In fact, the only reason it's this dark is just because of the clouds with the rain. <clears throat> but um, the sun doesn't set here this time of year at all. The next morning, I took another tour to continue north up the Dalton Highway. We made several stops, including this one at Sukapak Mountain. The mosquitoes are out in full force. And this water is really cold, oh my gosh. The van would travel up and over the 4,739 foot tall Adigan Pass. This is the highest point of any highway in the entire state of Alaska. It's also one of the most famous spots on the Dalton Highway. This beautiful location is as far north as the tour went. After taking a few photos and enjoying the fresh air, I got back in the van and we turned south toward Coldfoot.
We stopped at the old mining town of Wiseman, and then back at Coldfoot at the Arctic Interagency Visitor Center so I could get my passport stamp for Gates of the Arctic National Park. Then I got a late lunch at the restaurant and made a big mistake by ordering two pancakes instead of just one. These things were enormous. After lunch, I walked across the street to the airport and caught my flight back to Fairbanks. I had a great couple of days north of the Arctic Circle. The drive up the Dalton Highway was extremely long, but definitely something I'll never forget. Flying over Gates of the Arctic National Park was majestic, and driving over Attigan Pass, like the ice road truckers do, was unbelievable. This was just the beginning of my Alaska adventure, and I can't wait to share the rest of it with you.